Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jeremiah and I'm a second year biomedical science student at Singapore Polytechnic. Today's video is about tackling the question on whether or not you should study at Polytechnic. I'll be going over four possible reasons as to why one may want to study at Polytechnic. I'll leave timestamps in the description below, so feel free to skip around to the parts that most excite you. But before I begin, do bear in mind that this is just my perspective and the experiences of everyone is very different. I'm just coming from the perspective of a science student at Singapore Polytechnic. Now enough of that, let's get on with the video. So firstly, one should study at Polytechnic if that person has an idea on what they want to do in the future. Do note that although your diploma is specialised, you are not stonewalled into this particular field and you do have the chance to branch out in the future if you ever choose to do so. There comes a certain point in everyone's life where we feel a certain pull to a particular field. Now, for some people it's not as strong and it is very fair to say that we do not fit in a single bubble. But I think that this conundrum is also the reason why making a choice of a specialised diploma is very magical. For my example, I study biomedical science. Now as the name suggests, I study biology and more specifically, I'll use my course tagline to the art of saving lives. Now, when I go to school every day, I get to learn physiology and some highlights include taking urine samples from our classmates, doing ECG and designing my own experiments. Now, if I went with any other route, I would have never gotten those experiences. Now, although I do intend to pursue a career in healthcare, if I were to wake up one day and decide, you know what, this is not for me, I do still have the flexibility of going into another field. According to the National University of Singapore's admissions page, my diploma allows me to take specialist biology diplomas like life sciences, medicine and dentistry. But if you were to scroll to the top of the page, you will find that my diploma allows me to do degrees like Infocom Security, Law, Architecture and Business Administration. Now these are very different fields to what I'm doing currently. So this brings me back to my main point. If you have a brief idea on what you want to do, you should definitely go with the polytechnic route because only by diving two feet in into your specialist diploma can you truly find out the good and the ugly of it to find out whether or not this career is really suitable for you. Alright, next I want to talk about internships. This actually relates to my previous point about diving two feet in. An internship is basically an extended period of time where you work as an intern in a company. An intern is generally the lowest position in the company, but with this, it also allows you to learn the most. As an intern, you're tasked with many things that allow you to learn from experts in your field. I think that internships are a reason to join Polytechnic because it allows you to be up close and personal with the experts. And even if the intern is not the position that you aspire to be, you can learn from them and see how they live their life and see whether or not that's truly what you want to do for the rest of your life as a career. The idea of hands-on experience is actually seen in other countries as well. In the UK, if you were to apply for medicine, a prerequisite is that you have done job shadowing. Personally, I have done medicine job shadowing as well, and we often hear that medicine has long hours and is really tiring, but only when I was there up close and personal can I see the stress and long hours a doctor's face, and this allowed me to see the realities of the profession and whether or not something like that would be suitable for me. This lesson could have been told to you by anyone you know, but only when you truly experience it yourself can you find out whether or not that's something you want to do. Alright, thirdly, I feel that one should join Polytechnic if he or she is interested in advanced placements in university. Advanced placements are essentially university recognising your previous studies and giving you exemptions of the new modules. In Polytechnic, we do very specialised diplomas and some of this knowledge could be translated over to university modules. With this, you're able to take off time in university without ever having to set foot there. Now, this is a page from the official SP website. For students who are able to find out whether or not we get exemptions for the diplomas that we study at the various universities around the world. I think that it's extremely important to find out about these exemptions to be an extra motivation to study at Polytechnic. Now bear in mind, this is not an official agreement by the university and SP, it's simply a list compiled by the teachers of students that have been previously granted exemptions at these various universities. Now you'll quickly notice that most of these universities are from the UK or Australia. And the reason is, in the UK and Australia, you decide on the degree you want to do before you enter compared to a system like the US where they run by a liberal arts system and our diplomas don't really translate over as well. Now, going overseas may not be the first choice for many Singaporeans, but if you were ever to go overseas, the amount of time that you save could be up to two years. So, the year that you deemed as a waste of time previously could actually help you gain a year. You not only save on the very hefty tuition fees, you also save on living costs. So that lowers your overall cost of overseas education and makes it more realistic and affordable. So, if you want to get your university degree as fast as possible, going overseas with advanced placement is a very realistic choice for you. Okay, lastly, a reason to apply to Polytechnic is if you like control over your time. Apart from electives that I mentioned in the previous video, which I'll link somewhere around here, you get more control over your time. And this is because in some modules, it's more independent style learning. In my previous semester, I had this module called Advanced Cell Biology. In this module, a lot of learning actually came from independent study. So most of our assessment, or a large chunk of it, actually came from us going to research papers after research papers and coming up with lecture slides that we can teach the class. 
So it was more of an independent learning within the class. And this required a lot of work outside of class and outside of class curriculum to go and figure out which articles best present and best represent the ideas that you want to teach the class. Apart from that, you get to control the time that you want to do these. Because the research articles are all out there, you design your own schedule, you figure it out yourself, especially with the HBL semester. Now, there is a curriculum, but the more hands-on approach in Polytechnic allows us to have more independent learning. Often, if you want to do well, you have to put in work outside of class. So that means doing additional research, a booking consultations with your teachers to clarify topics that you may be unsure on. This style of learning is actually very similar to university. So that could have been a bonus reason about why you should choose Polytechnic. Okay, this brings me to the end of the video on possible reasons why one should apply to Polytechnic. I do hope that this video provides a little bit of value to you as you make your own decision. If you do have any questions, do leave them in the comments below and I'll try my best to answer them. Alternatively, you can email me or message me on Instagram. All information are in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in another video. Bye-bye.